Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is a solution or analysis video for my video entitled Math Pattern Based on Odd Numbers. In that video, we have the sequence of odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on indefinitely. And we have the first number 1, which happens to be 1 to the third power. The next two odd numbers, 3 and 5, add up to 8, which is 2 to the third power. The next three odd numbers, 7, 9, and 11, add up to 27, which is 3 to the third power. The next four numbers in the sequence add up to 64, which is 4 to the third power. The next five numbers in the sequence add up to 125, which is 5 to the third power. The next six numbers in the sequence add up to 216, which is 6 to the third power. And I have determined that this pattern goes on indefinitely. And I asked the question, why does this work? Well, here's my analysis. A number that's a perfect cube, such as 125, that's 5 cubed, 5 to the third power. That means 5 times 5 times 5. This part of it, 5 times 5, is 25, and that's a square number. So first I'm going to focus on square numbers, and I'm going to focus on a geometric interpretation. I imagine one marble. 1 is our first square number. 1 times 1 is 1. To get the next square number, I add an L shape. I add 3 marbles. That forms a 2 by 2 square, and that's the next square number, 2 times 2, which equals 4. To get the next square number, I add a bigger L shape, 5 additional marbles, forming a 3 by 3 square, and that's the next square number, 3 times 3 is 9. Then I add a bigger L shape, consisting of 7 additional marbles, forming a 4 by 4 square, and that's 16. Adding a bigger L shape of 9 additional marbles gives me the next square number, 5 times 5, which is 25. And adding the next bigger L shape of 11 marbles gives me the next square number, 6 times 6, which is 36. And so on indefinitely. So I started with 1, then I added 3, then 5, then 7, then 9, then 11, then 13, and so on. So now we look at our sequence of odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. The first number 1, then the next 2, then the next 3, then the next 4, then the next 5, then the next 6, and so on. We start with 1. 1 is a square number, and it's also a perfect cube. It's 1 to the third power. Now, we're going to go to the next square number, to do that, we have to add to the 1, we have to add 3. Well, we can do that. We add 2, which brings us to the 3, and then we have to add one more, which brings us to a number that's not in this list, 4. 4 is the number right in the middle of this group. It's not actually in the group, but it's the middle number. Now, to get the next square number, we have to add 5 to 4. Well, we add one more, that's 5, then two more, that brings us to 7, then two more, that adds a total of 5, that brings us to 9, which is in this next group, and it's the middle number of the group. To get the next square number, we have to add 7. We add 2, then two more, then two more, that's adding 6, and one more brings us to 16. 16 is not in this next group, but it is the middle number of the group. Now to get the next square number, we have to add 9 to that. We add 1, then 2 more, then 2 more, then 2 more, then 2 more. That's adding 9, which brings us to 25 which is in the next group, it's the middle number of the group. To get the next square number, we have to add 11. We add 2, then 2, 
then two, then two, then two, that's ten, and one more makes eleven. That brings us to thirty-six. Thirty-six is not in this next group, but it's the middle number as we look at the entire group, and so on. So now I have these square numbers. Now let's go back and look at the groups, beginning with the group consisting of the three and the five. We have this square number four. We're going to add the numbers in this group. Well, of course, they add up to eight. They might as well both be fours for adding purposes. We can subtract one from the five and add one to the three, and they're both fours. That's four plus four, which is two times four, which is eight, which is two to the third power. Now let's look at the next group consisting of three numbers. We're going to add them. They might as well all be nines because we can subtract two from the eleven and make up for that by adding two to the seven. So that's nine plus nine plus nine, which is three nines, three times nine, which is twenty-seven, which is three to the third power. Now we look at the next group consisting of four numbers. We've got this 16 in the middle. These might as well all be 16s for adding purposes. We can deduct one from the 17 and make up by adding one to the 15. We can deduct three from the 19 and make up for that by adding three to the 13. And then they're all 16s. That's 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, which is four of them, four times 16, which is 64 which is four to the third power. Now we look at the next group where the we have five numbers in the group. The middle number is 25. We're going to add them. They might as well all be 25s. We can make this one two smaller, this one two larger, this one four smaller, this one four larger. That doesn't change the total value. It just redistributes the values. And so we have 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25, which is 5 times 25, which is 125, which is 5 to the third power. And now for the next group, 36 is in the middle. We're going to add them. They might as well all be 36s because we can make this one one less and one, this one one bigger. We can make this one three less, this one three bigger. This one five less, this one five bigger. Then they'll all be 36s. That's six 36s, which is 216, which is six to the third power. And it's clear to me, I hope it's clear to you also, that we can continue this process indefinitely. And so that's my analysis of this pattern based on odd numbers. Thank you for watching this video.